All right, back with pretty much the last row of stuff. Um, I'll need pull type hay rake of some kind. I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. So I've seen a few of these. This is a, this is a five foot model. Uh, again, it's, uh, we've got one in our collection back in Indiana. This tag is considerably better than ours, but again, it's the uh, E.L. Caldwell uh, manufacturer. Uh, I don't know if you can read it, but this is the five foot cut. Uh, ours, like I say, ours is a seven. Um, they're actually they're built in three point and pull type models. Um, it's got the pads. That's where the axle would have gone for the pull type. Then over here we've got, uh, oh, it's even got a dealer tag on it. I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not. Muscatine implement, wherever that's from. Um, but there is another E.L. Caldwell implement, the blade. I just added one to our collection. My tag is not quite that good, but it's pretty close. My blade is not that good. My blade is bent. big pull type swather that's maybe seen a little bit of work kind of cool uh, uni baler well I shouldn't call it a uni baler I don't know for sure that that one is a uni baler I'm going with no at this point just looking at the way it's driven and mounted. It could be. It could be a uni baler on a power cart. Hey, look, needle's been braised. Let me see if it's zooming on that. Needle's been braised. I don't. I haven't seen very many of these things. These 670 bale masters that have not had the uh, needles welded or braised. Here's another one. Oh, hey, look, those needles, those needles aren't, haven't been broken. Huh. Some information on it there. Uh, hopefully I didn't just give away where I was at. All right. Uh, so there's the swather. Uh, that is a UM mower, I believe. This is an MO circle bar mower. I've got one of those. And here's another... J7, J7A. Um, another pull type hay rake. Looks like it's got some factory modifications. Hammer mill. I've been looking for one of these. And, uh, this was in the for sale pile. I, di I didn't know it was going to be for sale or I'd have said something sooner. Um, and apparently I missed out by five minutes. But I'll keep looking. They're out there. Uh, Moline uh, silage blower. Some piping. A couple of uh, uni carts for putting your uh, uni equipment on when it's not on a tractor. 1520 baler. Uh, I believe this. You can see the green paint under it. Uh, this Oliver design kind of thing. Pretty nice shape for old Baylor. And here is a uh, Moline Uni Husker. You can see how it's on the cart there. Uh, I've got one of these Uni tractor to put it on. It's about as rough as this one. Um, this is a uh, Harvester 69, I believe. Just guessing by the small, I think that's a Hercules engine and just small size of it. Uh, it's miss, missing the uh, missing the reel and the uh, canvas. Another uh, political promise spreader. This is the this is an LS200. These were horse drawn. Uh, big case, one way. Uh, it's a cedar. 
So it's kind of a it's kind of a one-way uh, disc plow thing with cedar attachment. Uh, another Moline Packer disc or Packer drill. Nice uh, bigger, newer drill. Uh, I didn't see that four bottom uh, four bottom pull type. Uh, disc plow, and what separates that from uh, a one way is that each disc is on an individual gang, whereas the one ways it's all one big shaft. Um, the little D sheller over here that um, has been around a while, I think. Um, it's been around a while, but drive sprockets on his cowbell over here look better than mine. Oh, and they actually, this has got, so we just put an idler like this down there in the middle of all that dirt where he's got a uh, toothed idler. We just put a smooth one like that. We had to space it out to get the line up, but, huh. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, incline conveyor. I think that's the one that sets the bottom of it would hook in. Yeah, because there's part of the mechanism. So this mechanism here hooks in here and there's a latch that's kind of stuck that holds it up in the transport position. And then a cob elevator laying there. Um, some more, some more uh, wheat drills. Looks like Looks like there's three of them. The guy had the right kind of hitch. You could uh, marry all those together. Here is a, yeah, one of those um, windrow attachment. Um, it might be a windrow attachment to go on this uh, this silage chopper to pick up haylage. I'm not sure. Huh, spike tooth harrow, spring tooth harrow, uh, rotary cultivator. A cool chopper. Um, another uh, another swather that looks like you have had a good uh, good canvas and some good good reels on the or some good bats on the reel. You take that thing to the field. <laughs> and here's another 760 bale master, and this this one is definitely a a, a uni. Uh, with the drive stuff up to here. Um, this is where it would drive off the, the uni tractor up there with big flat drive belt. Uh, well, that thing hasn't done much work at all. Those needles are, they still have paint on them. I wonder if this thing did much work at all, if any. No, I would say it didn't do a whole lot. I mean, paint is still good on the uh, big E, I think it's an E, it's either E, 1200, 1210 sheller. Um, it's got a set of drags here. This conveyor here drops in to this unit here. Uh, and then the drag, so that drops the corn into here. The drags then drop the corn into here. It's, uh, yeah. And there's more drags over here on the side. And then uh, these boards here are extensions that snap into here to make the uh, drag taller. Yeah, so. And just down across the horizon, there's just more stuff. There's another, another little combine or an Oliver plow of some kind hiding in the weeds. Truck hiding here underneath the tree that fell down recently. A couple of U standards, one LP, one gas. Uh, 425 power unit, uh, 705, another U standard. L no, that's just a U row crop. U row crop LP. G6 LP with a great big homemade blade on the front of it. Um, 
M5 standard LP missing the hitch and stuff, but nice rubber, nice paint. Another five star standard LP. Uh, 2132 and an M5 with a lure. Well, I tell you what, I think I'm going to call it quits there. Um, anyway, I'll be back.